Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and it is Eraser Madness. You all asked for it, and so I'm giving it to you. The other review of the 25 count eraser set, and we're going to be doing the bottom here today. So I have to say, you guys killed it on the likes and of course on the shares. So we're going to be covering the bottom today. But before I do, please don't forget to thumb up this video. It helps me a lot to know what you guys like to see on my channel. From erasers, to showing you guys, to anime, to collective hauls, to costuming, to makeup. I love to do it. Come and find me on all my social media sources. Same way it's spelled down below over on Facebook. Same exact way. And also too over on Insta Slam at Lady underscore Frieza, Dragon Ball Z character. If y'all can't see him, he's right over here. Dragon Ball Z character, Frieza underscore cosplays. So yes, we stopped on the third row, second to last, because I wasn't quite sure if you guys were interested in seeing the 25 count eraser set and how they mix and fold together and how they come apart and, you know, put apart again and everything. So let's go ahead and check those out. Now, like I said, we stopped over on the cupcake row and the cake row, which is to this one right here. So we still have all these ones down here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine erasers to go. Let's go and let's get it done. So the second one or the first one beginning on the second to last row is just like the first. In the first row, we had a wonderful shrimp sushi or sashimi, depending on where you go. This one is a salmon one, and it's a different colored salmon. I've eaten salmon like this before. It's very nice. It comes in a two-parter. The rice is very nice, very textured, as you can see. Very textured. And so is the little meat slab, I should say. The meat slab is very detailed. So you can plug it in, and there you go. Now, say, for instance... I didn't want that one and I wanted the shrimp one on that one. Well, lo and behold, you can do the same thing. So hence the reason these are called puzzle erasers. So you can mix and match and switch them out. So that's what I love about that one. The next one here is a cute little, look at that, little pancake with a little sear, or not sear, but a little tiny dollop on a little plate. Like, how cute. Like, I don't know who in the world would want to erase with these erasers. I wouldn't because they're too cute. But you take off the bottom. Of course, that's what it looks like. And then I wonder if the little glob of butt, yep, as suspected, the little glob comes out. So these ones have tiny pieces, hence the reason they're not for anyone five years and younger. So I can see why. I wouldn't even give this to a five-year-old. But this is so cute. Look at that. It is so, so, so cute. Okay, guys. So now the next one we are going to be doing is one of my personal favorites. They are the little tiny steam buns. And I've always wanted one of these erasers and I couldn't always figure it out how they got the steam buns in and just all that stuff. I like to pick it apart and see what, you know, comes out. So there's steam buns. As you can see, little steam buns. And the steam buns come out along with the lettuce. Now, as you can see inside, that's what it looks like, thick. You can try erasing with this piece. We might try to erase from the set. Little, three little steam buns come out and so does the lettuce. But you have to watch out on how you put this one together. Because if you go like that, it won't match. As you can see, you have to put it on the ends. And then just click it in. If I can. Sometimes they're hard to click in when you can't find the appropriate hole. As I'm having trouble with now. Of course, didn't have any trouble taking them apart before. There we go. Little steamy bun. Then the next one in this last row of the second to last is a little tiny sushi plate. Little platter. It's so cute. Same way as the pancake, but you take this one off. They are not separated, even though, like, if you wanted to, probably took an exacto knife and but these little pieces come out as you can see then of course the little middle so these erasers guys are so much fun like like i said i wasn't allowed to have these when i was growing up but now that i'm an adult 
I don't particularly need to erase with them. Like, I find they're more collectors than anything. But they're still cute. And yeah, I'm pretty proud of my little tiny eraser set. And I don't care what anyone else says. Okay, guys, and the final row down here. I'm going to save this one for last. Let's start off with the second steam buns in the row. So they look like this. This one has no lettuce, as you can see. I don't know if it was supposed to come with lettuce or not. I don't think so. So we just twist the little part out of it. There are four little dumplings, or whatever you want to call them. And there's the basket. Like, look at how cute. Like, like I said, guys, for my students, I always would set these out. And if they had particular trouble that day with wanting to do the assignment, would you like to use the special eraser and the special pen? Hmm, pencil? So that usually would most of the time work, except for there was a limited few. But there you go on that one. That one's cute. The other one is a little cake. I haven't held this one at all. Um, I'm guessing the base comes off. Yes, it does. Little base. And then you have the little, oh my god, they're so tiny. The little strawberries on top. Like, look at that little ring. It's so cute. How can you... How can you erase with these? Like, come on, let's be honest. These are just toys for kids, even though I'm an adult and I like erasers, but I do like these. So that was the cake one. Now we are on the third, two, one, two, second to last. Little donut. We've seen these all over the place. I see you. I see you. A little donut and the icing removes, nothing special. Nothing special, but you can plop it on. If you have multiple erasers, you can add multiple frostings, I guess. And you can make it your way. And the last time, guys, the last ones here that we have, the two in the set are the ice cream and this one, and they are both my favorite. Even though I said a lot of these are my favorite. So here's the little chocolate ice cream. These look like the things that are in Claire's where you remove... I guess this top off and then inside the lip balm, that's not this. But as you can see, the chocolate comes off. There's a little white base, the vanilla. And then if you hold that, the little stick pops out. So that's cute. That's cute. Come on. We ain't gonna lie. That's cute. And the last one of which I loved so much is this little bento box. Like, look at this little bento. It's so cute. It's got rice. It's got a little dollop of meat so let's go ahead and take out the little rice so here's the rice oh that looks kind of phallical there's a little piece there with the rice i'm guessing that is the salmon ball with it in the next chamber we have a little bit of lettuce we have some meat and a little tiny egg i'm guessing so we can take out the contents of the little meat this one I'm not going to take it off all the way, but you can see the flower comes off. Simple. And then you have the little tiny meat patty that comes out as well with the lettuce in between. So these ones, guys, are really, really fun. I'm loving these erasers. Like, I can see why a lot of kids collect these, even though, like, these really shouldn't be in the classroom because I've taught with kids with them in the classroom and they are more like a distraction. But I find that it's a very cute distraction, especially if it's making for something fun. So I am going to take my little ball of hot sauce from my first erasers video. You might want to go check that out. I am going to get a mechanical pencil. Mechanical pencil. Do we have any lead in this one? Probably not. Knowing me, probably not. Let's see if we can find a pencil here that does. There we go. So now we have a pencil with an eraser. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to go into my big book of ideas or everything, and we're going to see how these bad boys are rates. All right. So taking a random page, I love you all. All my subs. I love all my subs. I love you all. Now I'm going to take just a racer I don't give about, which that would be the Tabaski. And let's see how good this erase is. You ready? Here we go. Let's see how good it does of a job for the kids. 
science. Yeah, race is nice. Race is good. And it doesn't even take too much off the bottom. So, okay, guys. I have to say I give these a 10 out of 10. I like them. I like them a lot. And not just for racing, just for collecting in general, guys. And as I stated in the first box opening and in the haul, go and check my haul's playlist, guys. This box, in its entirety, was got from the 99 cent store for $2.99. So thumb it up, guys, if you liked this particular video, the second parter to the first. Um, if we get two likes on this one, I will more than likely open up the secondary set that I got, which is animals. And so we'll take these apart and we'll see how these work in comparison to the foods one. So I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and making my time on YouTube special. Please hit that bell for notification down below. Give an angel her wings and uh, come find me on all my social media sources. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye-bye guys.